Let's take a look at the M215 cable. It comes in a continuous spool, so you can use the specific number of drops for your job. Cut the cable to match the size of your job. Use a standard wire cutter capable of cutting 12 gauge wire. We recommend cutting the cable midway between drops to give yourself room to work. Position the AC cable along the racking. You can position the cable either on the outside of the racking or on the inside. As you position the cable along the racking system, you can use clips to secure the trunk cable to the rack. The clips we provide work with all popular brands of racking. Some installers use tie wraps, but we recommend the clips for their longer life. Dress any excess cable in loops so it doesn't contact the roof. The cable clips can fit both the trunk wire and the inverter wire for cleaner wire management. With the bus cable installed and the inverters mounted, you can connect the inverter to the bus cable. One end of the trunk cable gets terminated into the junction box that goes down to your AC panel. The other end of the AC trunk cable gets dead-ended with an AC terminator. The wiring terminator is required on the end of every branch circuit wire to protect it from any environmental conditions. The termination end cap is IP67 rated and designed to be completely water and dust tight and is designed to last the full life of the system. Properly installing the terminator is easy but requires attention. Sometimes you'll have an extra connector that you don't want to plug a microverter into. For example, if you're transitioning from one subarray to the next. If you have an unused connector, use the ceiling cap to cap off that unused connector. Do not use the red shipping cap to cover unused connectors. The shipping cap does not provide an adequate environmental seal. Disconnect an inverter connection by using the Enphase Disconnect tool. Insert the disconnect tool. Pull the connector out in a straight motion from the plug. If you don't have a disconnect tool, you can always use a number three screwdriver to unlock the connector. Thanks for watching. Please watch the next video on some tips on cable management.